Hello and welcome to Access Sportsnet Lakers, driven by your Southern California Honda dealers, Give a Chris McGee. Clap, Chris. Come on, Brad. Yeah, Give a little word of the clap, Brad. There you go. There you go, Brad. You know, you're in the space for it. I was saying, you're in the space for it, Brad. Come on with you. Give you a call. There you go. I was telling our producer, B. Moore, the pregame show. I don't know if we'd laugh that much in a pregame show in a long time, and we already started off tonight. There you go. A little bit of laugh. Brez, good work right there. Uh, Chris McGee, Byron Scott, James Worthy, Mike Bresnahan, Ali and Trudell are out in Las Vegas. Lakers win the inaugural in-season tournament title. Dominant fashion. I got an incredible stat for you. They only made two threes. But it doesn't matter because from the jump, defense and Byron, that relentless pursuit, attacking what the job they did on Halliburton, but then on the offensive end, 86 points in the paint. AD was incredible. LeBron, AR, all had big games. Well, again, it, it also goes to show you that you can win games without having to shoot a high percentage of three-pointers. And like you said, when you're continuously tacking the paint and you're scoring at that, that type of clip, 86 points in the paint, it's, it's going to be hard to lose a game, especially when you play defense the way the Lakers play defense tonight. And again, we go back to the beginning of the game. This was going to be a true test for them on the defensive end because of the fact that they were playing a very, very good young Indiana Pacer team who led the lead basically in every offensive category. Mm -hmm. So for them to come out with this win in the fashion that they did it, holding them to 108 points or whatever, and then 36% shooting from the field, it, it, it tells me that, you know, they're, they're getting healthy at the right time, but that defense, man, and we all know it, it wins championships. Big game, I don't want to take away from your opening comments, so remember what you're going to say, but big game, this team averages 128 points per game, the Pacers. Number one in the NBA. Brez showed it on his three-point play. They lead in every single category. They shot 37% tonight and 109 points. That is not a coincidence. No, it's not. Lakers defense. It's, no, it's not. And they've been building on it uh, for some time. You look at what they're able to do in the second half of last season, Austin, the Memphis Grizzlies, and the Golden State Warriors mm -hmm. with their defense. They were starting to, to churn then. Now they seem to have it all together healthy, with the exception of, of Gabe Vincent. Uh, as great as LeBron and AD were, and they were, trust me, they were the, they were the bond. I thought Reddish, uh, at the mm -hmm. beginning of the game, really set the tone on Halliburton. You know, just, you know, suffering him, uh, surrounding him, uh, not giving him his comfort. Uh, they switched everything. That He wanted to come off of those pick and rolls. They didn't allow that to happen. So collectively, you know, this team is locked in defensively. Uh, Max Christie coming in, deflecting passes. And, of course, you know, Reeves and the whole team. I, I think the defense is, is number one. It says a lot when AD has a 41-20 and 20 game, five assists and four blocks. LeBron goes for 28, gets the MVP. AR has a huge game, 22 in the first half, ends up with 24. And we're talking about Cam Reddish and Vando mm -hmm. and the job they did. Mm -hmm. It was that important in this game. Yeah, it's been building for a while. Look, the other night they allowed 89 points against a New Orleans team that can fill it up. The game before that, they held Phoenix to 103. The Laker defense is really what's been propelling them, not just in this tournament, but over the last month period. And then you get to tonight, and the Laker offense just dominated. They made two threes. How do you win a game so easily when you make only two threes? You get 86 points in the paint. That's what you do. And you held the Pacers to 44. Every shot that LeBron made, he made 10 shots. Every shot was in the paint. AD made 16 shots. Every one of those in the paint. You're not going to stop the Lakers. I don't care if they make zero threes, if those guys are that dominant down low, guys. I know this doesn't count in the standings or in the win column, but the Lakers, have, if you count this game, it would be four in a row, five of six, and they're doing it as a team. They're doing it on both ends of the floor. We want to sing LeBron's praises, but first, let's go back to Vegas because LeBron stopped by to chat with Mike Trudell. All right, LeBron, you've accomplished pretty much everything you could accomplish in the NBA. This was a new thing yeah. that could be accomplished. You treated it seriously from the start. Now you're the first ever champion of the in-season tournament. Uh, you know, it's pretty cool to be able to say you was the first to do something. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, the season in-season tournament was brought together. And uh, we just tried to play our best ball, you know, and we was able to come down to Vegas um, and win the semifinals game versus the Pelicans and then versus a very, very talented, well-coached uh, Indiana Pacers team. So, you know, this will, this will go down to history. You know, we're the first team to ever win the NCAA tournament. So when you, I'll take some history for sure. 
you talk about leaving a legacy, right? And now this is part of it. It's going to be around for a long time, but people eventually kind of will understand it more and more. And now it's, you know, LeBron James, the Los Angeles Lakers, and your teammates to be on there. It's got to mean something. It absolutely means something. Anytime you can put the Lakers in the history books for the greater good, it always means something. So I'm happy to be a part of it. You know, the other thing, saw some of the young guys come over to you. You know, we know about the cash prize, but they're about this age of your son. Uh, is that fun for you to do, just to see the rookies over here and kind of say, thank you, LeBron? No, it is. It is. Uh, and you're absolutely right. They are probably about the same age as my son. So uh, it's going to be a hell of a weekend for me, you know, be able to win the in-season tournament, uh, pick up a little dough on the way, and then go see my son tomorrow, uh, you know, at the Gallant Center. No doubt. Last one for you. Uh, you really set the tone in the semifinal. How about AD tonight? You know, kind of doing what he does, not just defensively, he does it every night, but dominating the other end, too. That's what he do, man. Listen, uh, we got a great one-two punch, you know, so I took care of the semifinals game. He took care of the finals game. And that's what it's all about, holding each other accountable. Congrats, LeBron. Appreciate it, yep. Uh, Trudell and Allie have been doing work out there in Vegas. They finally get to come home tomorrow. Uh, I know they're excited about winning that title. So is LeBron James. Listen, um, I, I liked what they said in the celebration that we were watching uh, before we came on air. Because um, we've been talking about it throughout this entire in-season tournament. LeBron's attitude towards it uh, from, from the start. Wanting to win, playing at that level, raising the level of everyone around him. When he plays like that, he shows that it's important. The rest of the guys follow. I loved what he had to say about, you know, listen, there are young guys on this team that don't make yeah. a lot of money. Mm -hmm, yeah. There are assistant coaches on this team that don't make a lot of money. Everyone's getting a part of this. And I think that's true leadership. And I just love the way he carried himself. I mean, listen, his team went 7-0. and Six of those games counted on the schedule. Right, that's 6-0. Right. That's and oh. Yeah, it's a big deal. I, I mean, I mean, again, he, he is the best leader in all of the NBA. It's, it's no doubt about that because number one, he leads by example. Number two, he cares. Number three, he's all about team and winning. You know, I, I mean, again, you look at his resume and the things he's done and the way he came and he approached this tournament by setting that standard of, hey, guys, you know, let's go out here and do it. But again, you know, he walks the walk. And, and that's the best thing about LeBron James is that, you know, he's not just talking to be talking. You know, when he's telling these guys about winning and how to win and the type of attitude that you have to take into a game, you know, he, he does it first. You know, so I'm sure all these guys appreciate the fact that they're getting a chance to play with one of the greatest players that's ever played this game. And he's playing at an extremely high level at 38 years old. And he treated this tournament like it was the NBA playoffs. And that experience alone, being with him, is going to be uh, big for these guys. It's going to pay dividends at the end of the day. Yeah, he did say that, Big game. He said, I wanted the younger guys to get a taste of what yeah. the playoff atmosphere was like in intensity. Yeah, I mean, LeBron's not only a great player, uh, he also has really great vision. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a great businessman. I mean, he owns soccer teams, stuff like that. So, and, and he wants to be an NBA owner. Mm -hmm. So, as a player... He's setting the tone for his future already by teaching these young kids how to win and how to take an in-season tournament so serious. Somebody like, like him, a, 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 like a, a guy that's making a billion dollars, has done everything. So he not only has his eyes set on now, but he's, you know, he's, he's, he's teaching how to progress and, and win and, and carry this forward. And I think this is going to be special for them. Uh, as they go into the rest of the season, knowing that they can, you know, come together collectively and play some really good defense uh, and beat some good teams. I mean, Indiana was, uh, they beat the Celtics mm -hmm. they and no Milwaukee. Slouch. Yeah, they weren't no slouch. Uh, no doubt about Indiana that. Indiana team that just beat. Wasn't easy to beat them. Yeah. Celtics and the Bucks. Yeah, by 10 and 9 points, yeah. too. They weren't, they weren't very close. Yeah. And they kind of shut down the Halliburton Express. Mm -hmm. As we said in the pregame show, That's the previous key. two games, he had 28 assists, no turnovers. He had a couple turnovers already in the first quarter tonight. The Lakers said, all right, you're good. You're already one of the top five point guards. We are going to take you out of your game plan. And they did. And no one else really did much for the Pacers. Miles Turner fouled out. Not a factor tonight. Had 26 and 10 against the Bucks the other night. Uh, Buddy Heald, not a factor. Matherin, not much tonight. So the Lakers defense was just swarming and attacking, making life difficult. Of course, if they got to AD, he was there with all the block shots. Mm -hmm. But it started on the perimeter and they really locked down A, a on Halliburton and B, the rest of the Pacers uh, perimeter guys. Big game, there are, you know, there's a lot of times where we say, man, AD dominated. He dominated on the defensive end, or this is a big AD game. But when you see numbers like 
41 and 20, <laughs> 16 of 24, five assists, four blocks, and B and I were talking, watching the game. I don't know, 10 more that he altered? Uh, it, that is a all-NBA first-team type performance. <laughs> Absolutely. I That's mean, the guy that this can, is, can change a game. Yeah. You know, I, none of us got to see Bill Russell play. Mm -hmm. I think I was like nine. I, think, I mean, I've seen maybe his last year. <laughs> À, ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một cái rau xà lách Rau xà lách của mình ở đây à, Nhìn cái uh, hình ảnh của cái rau này khá là ngon và non và xanh à, Rau xà lách sẽ có rất là nhiều cái lớp à, Mới tạo nên một cái xà lách à, Sẽ có rất là nhiều lớp lá ở bên ngoài bao quanh Đấy, Các bạn nhìn thấy rất nhiều lớp lá Từ trong ra đến ngoài là rất là nhiều lớp Và trên này sẽ có một cái từ chữ Việt Nam chữ tiếng Việt là rau xà lách dưới này sẽ có một cái dòng chữ tiếng Anh ở dưới này và dòng thứ ba sẽ là dạy chúng ta cách phát âm cái từ tiếng Anh ở phần trên và rau xà lách của mình với có màu xanh non mơn mởn như thế này và có rất là nhiều lớp và rau này của mình nhìn đã thấy ngon rồi à, không có một cái chút gì là sâu Chào mừng các bạn đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một quả cà chua Quả cà chua của mình ở đây sẽ có hình ảnh ở đây sẽ có một cái quả nguyên Nguyên quả và sẽ gồm vẫn còn nguyên cả cuốn và quả rất là sáng bóng Và bên này sẽ có một cái quả cà chua đã được cắt đôi ra Và nhìn ở bên trong cái ruột cà chua vẫn là rất là đỏ và ở cái những cái chấm ở đây đã có vài cái hạt cà chua màu hơi vàng vàng quả cà chua này được cắt ra rất là ngon và cà chua là cái gia vị cũng là cái gia vị để chúng ta nấu cùng với thức ăn ví dụ chúng ta ta xào rau hay là chúng ta xào thịt hoặc là chúng ta nấu canh đều sử dụng cái cà chua và cà chua rất là giàu dinh dưỡng Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn Một uh, củ cà rốt Củ cà rốt này của mình ở trên cái, cái tấm thẻ này Sẽ có một cái chồm cà rốt à, Tức một cái chồm này có rất là nhiều củ cà rốt ở đây Và nhìn cà rốt ở đây á Các bạn nhìn thấy sẽ có cái màu cam Và cà rốt uh, có màu cam và sẽ uh, hơi dài Hơi dài Cà rốt này của mình là hơi hơi dài và có màu cam Lá của nó sẽ có màu xanh ở trên này Và hàm lượng dinh dưỡng ở trong mỗi củ cà rốt thì rất là nhiều Và rất là nhiều vitamin C Để giúp chúng ta có thể là bổ sung cái những những cái chất Để giúp cho chúng ta có thể đẹp da và cung cấp nhiều vitamin C ở trong củ cà rốt Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một cái cổ gừng Cổ gừng thì là vẫn là một cái gia vị để chúng ta mà có thể nấu những cái món uh, Rau cải chúng ta cũng cần đến một cái gia vị gừng Hay chúng ta ướp thịt, ướp cá Chúng ta đều cần có một cái gia vị Và gia vị gừng thì không thể thiếu trong tất cả các gia đình Gần như nhà nào cũng đều có sẵn một cổ gừng hay hai cổ gừng ở trong nhà Để chúng ta có thể chế biến các món ăn được thơm hơn và được... Um, được ngon hơn và cổ gừng của chúng ta ở trong Việt Nam của chúng ta vẫn có cái tính đó là tính nóng sẽ giúp chúng ta uh, hạ huyết áp hạ huyết áp à, hạ huyết áp những cái bạn nào mà bị cao huyết áp và tốn huyết áp ấy, thì đều có thể sử dụng những cái sản phẩm gừng này Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một cái củ tỏi Mà trong cái củ tỏi của chúng ta hàm lượng dinh dưỡng Ở trong cái củ tỏi cũng khá là cao Và củ tỏi của chúng ta cũng có một cái 
Nên là cái gia vị không thể thiếu trong các món ăn ví dụ chúng ta xào rau muống xào thịt bò là chúng ta không thể quên được cái cái món cái gia vị này cái củ tỏi này của mình sẽ có rất là nhiều mắt nhỏ trong một củ và khi chúng ta sử, sử dụng thì chúng ta sẽ tách từng những cái mắt tỏi này ra và chúng ta sử dụng và trên này sẽ có một cái từ tiếng Việt ở đây đấy là củ tỏi ở đây và dưới này sẽ có một dòng chữ tiếng Anh và phần dòng thứ ba sẽ là dạy chúng ta cách phát âm chữ tiếng Anh Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một câu chuyện Một uh, quả dưa chuột à, mình Quả dưa chuột này của mình à, Ở trên hình ảnh này có cả lá và có cả hoa ở đây là dưa chuột này của mình đó là dưa chuột ta nên nó có một có những cái cai nhỏ những cái cai nhỏ trên cái bề mặt vỏ bên ngoài và quả dưa chuột này của mình thì vẫn rất là nhiều các uh, um, dầu các chất dinh dưỡng và giúp chúng ta làm mát làm giải khát cơ, cơ thể rất là tốt và quả dưa chuột có công dụng cho chúng ta đó là làm đẹp rất là là tuyệt vời khi các chị em cần đến